Hey guys, TS here and in this video we wanna discuss all the unique items that we all know and love from Diablo 2 that have made their way into the fourth installment of the game. There are also numerous uniques from the third and even the first Diablo game like the iconic Butcher's Cleaver, but I only want to highlight those that we have in Diablo 2. First up we got Andariel's Visage and I like how they actually kept its vibe with attack speed, lifesteal and poison res. And even poison nova, only its trigger mechanic changed from having a chance to cast it on being hit to actually procking it on hitting enemies. Interesting, I think it can be quite strong if built around. Now we also got this Doombringer which, let's face it, has seen better days in Diablo 2, gets completely outshined by Runewards, Grief in particular, so in D4 it seemed to also have that max life going for it, can also heal you on lucky hit, and also has a chance to basically deal some area of effect shadow damage to surrounding enemies and reduce their damage by 20% for 5 seconds. It looks to me that Breeze actually took some notes from Diablo 2 and now trying to supply melee classes with additional sources of AoE from itemization. We will have to wait and see how it will play out. Next we have ourselves a good old pair of Rustburn, which in Diablo 2 increases your mana pool for quite a bit, and in Diablo 4 its main purpose seems a bit different, up to a 25% to freeze enemies for 2 seconds. Up until patch 1.10 in Diablo 2 LOD, the Grandfather was an absolute unit and has seen a lot of usage, but with the rune words, it had no chance to provide competition to the overpowered Grief. But it looks to me that it can actually be a game changer with increased crit damage percent and also the other properties on this weapon can roll higher than normal. Talk about overpowered, I think all of you barbs wanna get your hands on it ASAP. Alright, now let's discuss one more item of truly mythical quality that also got butchered by the Runeward patch. And that's of course the Wind Force. I mean, it was so mythical that nobody actually had it. And if you were amongst the lucky few that were blessed by RNGs, you would instantly get promoted from a nerd to a giga nerd in school. And from my viewpoint, it looks quite promising in Diablo 4. I mean, who doesn't like himself a good old chance to deal double damage? Right, now look at what we got for dessert. It's everyone's favorite green hat, Harley Queen Crest, which some of you might be familiar to refer to simply as Shaco. And it seems that they kept its essence with damage reduction, life and all skills. Skill points aren't as powerful for the most part as in Diablo 2, so instead of 2 it gives 4 ranks to skills, and also from 10 to 20% damage reduction, obviously there is no magic find in D4, so it doesn't have any of that. So that were all the uniques from Diablo 2 that are confirmed to be in Diablo 4. That might however change with some future patches or updates, but anyway it was TS, thanks for watching and see you in Sanctuary!